It's called the Q collar. Maybe you've seen it on football players in the NFL. Last night, there's Dalton Schultz with it. How about soccer players in the World Cup wearing this rubber ring around their neck? What is it? What does it do? Can it help prevent traumatic brain injuries or TBIs? So here to explain is board certified internist, author, Q collar inventor, David Smith. Dr. David Smith, good morning, Dr. Dave. Well, good morning, Dave. Nice to meet you. Boy, we were able to see these these rubber-looking collars. They were on display. Uh, uh, three players last night's game were wearing these Q collars. How do they work? I am just fascinated by this. Well, it, it took about 25 publications in 14 years to basically convince the FDA to authorize this first and only device to prevent traumatic brain injury. It works by mild compression against the jugular veins, which just cause a, causes a very small back filling into the cranial space, and all of a sudden your brain can't move around within its confines. It works like an airbag in a car and the energy of the impact goes right through your brain rather than being absorbed. And you kind of pioneered the term, or you all came up with the term, brain slosh. Can you tell us, is that just what you just literally just said? Uh, correct. Uh, NASA was the first one to use the word slosh, and I shamelessly stole that from them uh, <laughs> back in the 50s and started calling it brain slosh in 2009. And boy, did it stick. So uh, we've done quite a bit with a lot of the major universities and research institutions, and people have been using that term since. Where did the idea come from to have a collar that would squeeze your jugular vein? Because initially I'm saying something's around my neck when I'm playing sports that's, that's squeezing a critical vein in my body. It had to have been tough to get traction on that. Uh, you're right. Uh, believe it or not, I was standing at the Army Research Lab presenting on a different topic altogether, and somebody joked about how we haven't been able to move the needle on traumatic brain injury. And uh, ultimately, eight months later, I started investigating all these highly G-force tolerant creatures out there in the forest. And believe it or not, uh, especially the woodpecker and head ramming sheep, little muscles in their neck called the omohyoid apparatus. And you're going to be floored to hear this. All of us have these muscles, and we never knew why they were there until our research started. And it turns out every single time you yawn, you collapse your jugulars in four places. So I don't think you can just go out there on the football field and start yawning. So we gave that physiology to football players, all sports, as well as the military has now partnered with us as well. We actually are blocking IED forces from entering the brains of soldiers. Isn't that something? Well, do you have an? Do you have a goal? I know there's a team on the Q collar team. Do you all have a goal? Like we want to reduce TBIs by this number by this year. Are there any kind of those numerical goals out there for you all? I think the most important thing is is we have to make the game safest, the safest possible. And for that reason, I think it should become standard equipment. There, there's no way that this is going to block each and every brain injury. It all depends upon the amount of force and the experience right around that injury. But at the end of the day, we know we can block damage. And in fact, our animal studies showed an 83% reduction in brain injury in animal studies. Now, we can't sacrifice the humans in our studies to get an exact number, but even the FDA allowed us to make statements of 70% improvement. So these are pretty spectacular when we've hardly moved the needle prior to this technology. This is a more, you know, simple question, but if there's school administrators out there, how do they buy these? So you can go to the qcollar.com website. You can also go to my website, which is davidsmithmd.com. Both of these will direct you to the ability to purchase this collar. About $200, is that right? That's right. And, and they've got some really cool sleeves that go around the outside. They're moisture wicking. Uh, I love mine. Uh, there are different colors, so it fits your team's sports colors, et cetera. And those are just wonderful as far as uh, improving the experience even further. Dr. Dave, we have a little time left. Your book coming out, When Heads Come Together, is the name of the book. What are you trying to get across in this book? 
Well, the tagline is discovering nature's secrets for preventing traumatic brain injury. And why wouldn't you ask nature first? I mean, look at what these creatures are able of doing and wouldn't we want our kids and soldiers and athletes to have that same protection? So my goal with the book was to basically let people understand the journey as well as the science behind it and a little bit about the fun anecdotal talks and uh, experiences throughout the way. Like you mentioned, how do two rams at full speed crash heads and still appear to be fine? It's a fascinating question. Uh, boy, Dr. David Smith, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. I really enjoyed it.